Hi, I'm Colin from HD CCTV. Some of our latest 4 megapixel IP cameras now have extra intelligent features that I'm going to show you. This video applies to Xvision IP cameras with built in SD card slots from the X2C 4000 range. The main features I'm going to run through in this video are standalone SD card recording and intelligent detection functions. Mac and PC users can access the camera via the XIQ CMS app, however some of the advanced features are currently only available for PC users. We're hoping the manufacturer will shortly release new firmware that will enable all functions for Mac users. Ok so let's dive in. We open Internet Explorer web browser and then we go to the IP address of the camera, hit enter. That takes us to the login screen here. The default password is admin and then we log in. With a suitable micro SD card inserted in the camera, you can use it as a standalone recorder and when used with the intelligent functions, you can be sure the camera only records the important stuff and not waste valuable SD card storage space. With a suitable SD card inserted, you can use it as a standalone video recorder. And when used with the intelligent functions, you, be sh you can be sure that the camera only records what it needs to and doesn't waste space. Here you can see along the bottom, blue lines where there's recording so let's just hit play let's go to about here and you can see it's recording where there's motion so to use intelligent functions to record into the SD card or PC the record scheduler must be disabled so we'll go to remote setting record normal schedule now when you first get the camera it'll be like this, so you've got, sorry let me just expand that, there we go. So at the bottom you've got normal recording which you can set is, you see is set here for 24 hour recording, 7 days a week. So we need to disable that, so you click on no record at the bottom and then click and drag over all the blocks you want to remove. Okay so that's the record normal record schedule erased and then you go to smart schedule and then make sure that the Smart schedule is enabled by clicking on smart and enabling 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The intelligent functions are perimeter intrusion, line crossing, stationary object, pedestrian detection, face detection and cross counting. Now perimeter intrusion, here you draw a box on the screen, you can have up to 4 boxes and if that perimeter is crossed it triggers recording and you can have it set so if someone enters the box it triggers recording or if someone leaves the box it triggers recording or two-way traffic either way it doesn't matter so let's just do a quick uh, quick box on this one so if I put a box around this area here I'm just gonna put the four points in there there we go and that's uh, that's a perimeter intrusion box there anyone enters that box from any direction it will start recording as you can see you've got a b and this is the, the type so it's whether they're going from a to b from outside the box to inside the box inside the box to outside the box or both ways okay next we've got line crossing very similar anyone crosses a line that you draw either way it triggers the recording stationary object if you want to keep make sure that something I don't know keep an eye on something you draw a box around the object if that object moves or is moved you know about it pedestrian detection this counts people um, so you draw a line, sorry, a box, and then it counts the amount of people going into that box. In the system in the intelligent analysis, here is uh, where your data from that counting is kept. So here you've got a, an hour, hour line and it tells you how many people have gone in. 
you can choose how many went out of the box or into the box. Next intelligent function is face detection. This will trigger a recording when it sees a human face. And then finally, cross counting. This counts the amount of times a line is crossed. That counts the amount of time a line is crossed. And again, in system and intelligent analysis, you've got your, your data there. So what happens when a trigger is triggered? You can enable IO out. So on the camera, you'll have a block connector that can connect to a home alarm system or a siren or a light or anything that's self-powered that's got a relay input that can be triggered by this, uh, this activation. You can have it send an email. Obviously it sends a snapshot of the, the activation. You can have it start recording. This begins a recording to the, the built-in SD card. And then obviously some data is recording in, in, the, uh, in the intelligent analysis section. So those are the four things that happen once the system is activated. Now, to, once you get your recordings, you can go to the playback screen. You can see the month calendar here. This is May 2017. I'll go to yesterday and do a search. By the way, you can, you can choose the type of search here, uh, a normal record, an alarm record. Those are disabled, so I can not search for those. And then we've got the different types of intelligent functions. So if I just do for the perimeter intrusion and do a search, it will then give me all the recordings from perimeter intrusions there. So you've got your, your triggers there, you hit play and it starts playing and you can move along to any point in the day and instantly see the activation. There we go. That completes this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, all the cameras are available to buy from our website hdcctv.co.uk.